Hello, everyone. I let you sit there thinking that we were broken for a second, but we're not. Uh, we are going to be down, Amika, for the time being. Hopefully, uh, internet gods prevail and connection is established. But for now, you are just going to be seeing our faces. Hello, everyone. My name is Cassidy, better known as Cass, or Yoda, or Yoda Almighty. You know who I am. Welcome to Lost Caravan RPG. We run one-shots. We do long-running campaigns. If it's a TTRPG, we're going to play it. Cooper told me to wing this, and so I'm doing this from memory. <laughs> anyway, hello. Uh, before we get started in our lovely, wonderful heist tonight, we are going to do a little housekeeping. Uh, we have a YouTube channel where you can watch thousands of hours of our faces. All these people here, my Cooper, who is not pictured, runs a lot of these games. We also have a Discord where you can come harass me. It's, I'm around, just come find me. These lovely people, their handles are around here. We are, as always, sponsored by Soul Muppet Publishing, makers of games such as Orbital Blues. If you haven't watched the Orbital Blues campaign on the YouTube channel, you need to get on that. It's real good. Fancy forever. Um, what else am I forgetting? Is that everything? I believe that's everything. Did I miss something? Hero Forge. We are also sponsored by Hero Forge. There should be links in, popping up in chat. They are popping up in chat. I think I'm talking too fast for Hoop to keep up. <laughs> anyway, tonight we are playing the Outgun system, which is created by Two Little Mice. Their Kickstarter is live for a new expansion based on Indiana Jones and other mummy and adventure style uh, properties. Now, Gund is a system that takes inspiration from properties as vast as Home Alone to Fast and the Furious and James Bond. My camera is not focusing on my face tonight for whatever reason. There I am. And tonight we're going to have a little fun rolling around in the world of killers set up, which is the first expansion to the game. This is a dice pool system. You all will be watching for our players to get pairs, three of kind, four of a kind. I shouldn't be rolling anything. They're going to tell me what they want to do, and I get to tell them if it's going to happen. So, without further ado, going in overlay order, we're going to start with our very own young Foxy. Foxy, tell us who you are where to find you, and uh, who you're playing tonight. I would argue finding out who you are is life's great journey. But for now, I'm Foxy, a.k.a. Big Foxy, also known to Fairy Fox Philly's finest. And today, I'm excited to be stolen for Lost Caravan one more time to play uh, Grayson Gray, only with Special Operations, at your service. I use he, they pronouns, as does my character, and I'm looking forward to being the most flirty and the least useful. And that brings us down to Switchy. Hello, I am uh, Switchel Sweets. I go by Switch. Uh, I am playing uh, Merit Merch tonight. The uh, uh, I, I'm trying to think how to describe his archetype loser. Um, <laughs> no, listen. Um, we. I, I use she or any pronouns he uses he or any pronouns. It, it's going to be a gender calamity over here, ideally. So th that that's what we've got. Uh, the, the calamity uh, starts with the gender and goes out from there. So we're doing great. Honestly, same. <laughs> <laughs> and that leaves us right on over to our lovely Mary. Oh, thanks. Hi everybody, I am Mary, my pronouns are she, her. You can find me online at Nerd on Wheels 15 or everywhere else at they're not the Nerd on Wheels if you aren't on the Hell site. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Fiona Dolan. Uh, she is a little bit of a aristocrat heiress. Uh, we're gonna have a fun time being a femme fatale tonight. Um, it's, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. <laughs> and bringing it back around to me tonight, I am your director. I will be pushing the scenes along, but it will be up to these lovely people to see what happens within them. So, without further ado, let's get started. 
We open on an island in the Pacific. Technically, it's part of one of the many volcanic archipelagos branching off from the Hawaiian hotspot, but territorial oversight is spotty at best. A small shield volcano rises from the ocean, an enormous mansion wrapping around its slopes. Welcome to Livonia Atoll. The four of you are each delivered to a massive dock where super yachts and other improbable methods of ocean transportation line up to deposit their passengers. Each of you is in disguise, but your eyes meet across the loading platform as you're shuffled to a monorail that glides smoothly up the mountain. You know each other's faces, in and out of disguise. You know it's coming next. Your calms flare to life, and the smooth voice of Ava Stone filters through the chatter of everyone around you. I hope you have your e-tickets ready, darlings. This ride doesn't stop until you finish the mission. And we're going to flashback to three weeks ago. The scene just hard cuts away. Who would like to go first? to explain how they got picked up by Director Stone. We're doing nose goes. Hey. Did you do nose goes? <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> well, reaction time, let's go. Uh, sure, let's do it. All right, Mary, where were you three weeks ago? Um, three weeks ago, uh, uh, that would be tricky. Fiona keeps a rather busy schedule, but I think that probably would line up probably with leaving from a visit with her cousin, Sean. Uh. All right. Well, three weeks ago, your cousin, Sean, sat across a table from you in a federal penitentiary in the United States. Well, there's a dub bunch. We'll just pick one. And he... Unlike you, potentially, where were do you have the accent to go along with the heritage? I do. You do. Okay. So Sean will be hunched over the table. He's really grumpy that he's still got another two years to go on this tax fraud conviction before he can be out and helping you and your brother. All right. So <clears throat> look, I. I'm bored. You need to put more money in my ca in the canteen, please. Come on, Fee. Dear, I don't quite understand what's taking you so long to... How much in commissary can you actually buy, dear? It's taking forever. Well, okay. So, there's a little bird I've taken under my wing. His name is Merit. He could be useful. I'm buying protection. I'm being useful. I'm also very bored and there's only so much bartering for books I can do. Understood, understood. Uh, uh tell me uh, about this merit. Uh... Skinny lad, I think he's supposed to be getting out here soon. I've heard, you know, rumors. But... I don't, I think, you know, everyone in here says they aren't guilty. He might not actually be completely guilty. Get this. He used to be all entangled, like, with uh, Alexander McMillan. You see what I mean by useful? Um, there's a moment where there's just, the cogs are turning in her head and she just, I, I think you found a very nice person to join the family. I don't know if I don't know if he'll be one to join the family, but he's a good lad. Reminds me of Brandon before the power went to his head. Well, it'd be good to get another one on our side. I'll sent over uh gosh you just write a number here and get that sent over right away and he writes a two 
and then a few more zeros than you know or you're actually going to put in the commissary account. And he shuffled away, hangs up the little phone. But as he goes, he does point down the way. And you glance back and you do see a skinny young gentleman, maybe in his mid-twenties, looking a little rough. Prison has not been kind to him the past few years, despite your cousin's protection. Just some, some people are not built for prison, you know? And uh, you realize this is the merit merch your cousin was talking about. And there is a suit sitting across from him. But it's not a suit from any agency. You, you're pretty good at spotting all of the various agencies at this point. This is not a suit you are familiar with. And so I think you clock that information and prim, proper lady that you are, you leave. And waiting for you outside in the parking lot is a tall, slender woman with dark red hair. Streaked a little at the temples with you think it's gray at first, and then you realize she's just been out in the sun a lot, so it's like that highlights. And she's just locked eyes with you. Standing there by herself, seemingly unconcerned with the guards I'm pretty sure you travel with. Uh, I will, uh, gingerly walk towards not making any kind of rush to get over, but um, as I stop near the car, I'm going to just look and say, uh, hello there. I I don't think I've made your acquaintance, and you're mighty close to my car, so I am assuming you need something from me. Hello. My name is Director Ava Stone of Pillar believe you might be familiar with our services. I've heard a few little bits and pieces about Biller, but I don't know what that has to do with myself. I'm simply here visiting my cousin. How would you like to cause a little bit of a distraction and potentially unseat a major multinational conglomerate? Conglomerate. Well, that would be great, but I don't know why I need your help with that. Oh, you'd be helping me. And favors would be owed in return. I. Sure. Send me the information. We can set up a meeting. I. I have a car waiting. I just kind of give it a side eye for a moment. So you're welcome uh, to bring your men. If you fantastic, I don't leave anywhere without it. Come on, come on, lads, and uh, she will uh, saunter over to the car. All right, we do a little like cross cut over, and since we're already here, merit. How you doing, bud? How's prison been treating you? Who's this person sitting across from you? <laughs> it is so loud all the time. There's never a moment's fucking peace in here. I I, I think I'm up. I think my parole's up in, in two years. Two years I'm up for parole. I There is a man sitting across from you today. You didn't expect visitors today. This is not your lawyer. This is a Colonel Sanders looking motherfucker to be as on point as I can make yeah. it. White suit, bolo tie. It's like he watched those ads where they put all the different comedians in the KFC commercials and went, that's my shtick. Okay. So we, we appreciate we appreciate a bit in this house. Another bit. And yeah. he's got this phone pressed up against his head, and he's just cross-armed. 
Mr. Merch. Yeah. I need to explain to you the value of an Alford plea. My organization would like your assistance, but we cannot accomplish what our goals are without you. You are currently behind bars, and the feds are willing to let you go, but only with an Alford plea. Me. I mean, would would that be it? I mean, no, no parole, or I mean, I just no be... parole. You walk. The point of this deal that my organization has created for you is that you will walk out scot free tomorrow. If you want your lawyers to look over everything, of course, I will send every bit of information on over to them. But I need your permission to do that. I trusted somebody's word on something that didn't go so well for me. How about if I told you the person we're looking to get your assistance on is the one who put you in here? Are you going after Alex? I would not use that name out loud, but perhaps. Send that over to my lawyers. Yeah, I'll yeah. We'll look at it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, son, I do need to make the, something very clear. My director is waiting outside right now. There is someone whose assistance you can rely on outside of us that we are putting on this team. I believe based on the connections you've made while you're, you've been serving your time here. So you do not need to feel like you are reliant on us. An exit strategy, if you will. All right. One of the Dolans? You said you said we're not doing names. You said we're not doing names out loud. Okay, sure. I'll I'll go with you on that. You're a smart boy, son. You catch on real quick. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. All right. You know, I've read the file. Sometimes there's an accurate assessment. Anyway, do you have any questions before I go? I just, I mean, shit, at this point, if you're asking me jump, my only question is how high, you know? <laughs> Don't ever say that in front of my director. She will ask for the move. Now, you will get escorted out of the visitor's section, back to your cell. Sean's across the hall. He ribs you. He he kind of treats you like a little brother. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he, Sean's all right. Sean's all right. He's a murderous maniac, but, you know, a maniac with all the affection in the world. But Not murder. What, Moira? <laughs> um, <laughs> but he does mention his cousin Fee to you quite often. And you know she was here visiting today. And at three o'clock in the morning, you are ushered out of your cell by the guards to a phone call from your lawyer. Merit. What the actual fuck? Who have, who, did you spill? You know the deal was that you had to keep your mouth shut or the McMillans were coming after you even harder. Who did you talk to? I didn't say shit, they already knew. They came to me, I, they already knew shit. I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I'll tell you, as your lawyer, it's a good deal, but it's one that makes me frightened for your safety. I... Look, here... 
by the time I am eligible for parole, eligible, not getting it, my only friend I got in here is going to be out. If I leave it up to chance, I'm worried for my safety in here, okay? So I either do this tonight, or, or I either do this thing, I either take this plea with these wahoos, or, or I rot in here sooner or later. Rational opinion, your ex is still an asshole, and you should take this deal. I'm taking it. Okay. I'll get the paperwork signed and agreed to, and you'll be out before breakfast. <laughs> really hope it wasn't pancake day. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Merritt. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. We're gonna slide back over to Fiona. You're in the back of a limousine being driven towards the airport. But not the airport for the peons, the airport for the 1% polluting the world. You are walked into a G7 jet and handed a file with your name on it. This thick full of pictures. Tell us about two of the pictures real quick. I believe you know probably which two I'm referring to. Yes, as I pull up my dossier. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so as she's kind of flicking through she's just uh you can just see like a couple eye rolls and then she gets to one and pauses it's only for a short second but as like camera pans down onto it uh you see that uh there is a photo of fiona uh with uh a uh woman uh with like a little sticky note with like info on it uh named ito fujiko uh they are uh, both uh, look to be in a, a romantic rendezvous uh, in the front of the uh, Hosakigumi compound outside Kyoto, Japan. Uh, and in the background, there is also a uh, man training with uh, Ido Masaki, uh, the chairman's heir. And she just kind of pauses and just like, there's a deep breath, but goes to the next page she's not going to let all her cards uh out and then uh the next few photos she's just like oh boring 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 and then flips through and finds uh another one of her uh sauntering away from an obviously distraught uh person uh specifically neroli constantino outside of the pantheon in and she just kind of chuckles to herself as she uh, flicks through uh, those as well. How would you describe Neroli Constantino? Uh, Neroli, very, it, he's, he uses he, they pronouns, very, uh, very Italian in the, I, dressed to the nines at all times a little bit toxic masculinity at times but you know uh very buff italian person very tall fiona's quite petite but uh in that picture specifically it looks like she just read this person to filth um <laughs> Uh, but uh, they definitely don't have the best relationship. No. We're gonna zoom in on that picture of an utterly distraught Neroli Constantino. And we're gonna zoom in until we see his eyes as the focal point of our screen and then start panning back out. And we are no longer in Rome. 
We are no longer looking at the Pantheon. We are now looking at a villa outside Palermo in Sicily. And Aroli is crying into uh, his drink, a martini. And he just looks over. Dresan, she left me. Dresan. I am, look at me. I am a perfect space. But why would she leave? Well, for one, you're scaring the ladies away right now. So do something with yourself, please, bud. I don't scare them. They work for me. Uh, uh, that might be your first problem. Oh, I, I understand. I, I understand. I, I do. I do mm-hmm. understand. So, I am the third in line to a major criminal family. She is third in line to a major criminal. Why? It's been months. And I have a listener. She's gone. Well, which should I highlight first? Your clinginess, your incompetence, or your presumption? You are not my friend. No, I don't know why. You, and that's why I'm your friend. So many people hunting you. We have to kill them every week, and you treat me this way. And if I wasn't thankful for it, I wouldn't still be here. So we are friends. Let's not push it too far. All right. Mr. Gray, you are approached by one of the very many women working in this compound, in this villa. Um, None of them are interested in uh, young Neroli, mostly because his elder cousins, Francesca and Lucia, um, pay them not to be interested in their younger cousin. because they need him in hand. That he cannot be. He's he's a wild card. He's not exactly trustworthy. Big Mouth runs it. You, on the other hand, they welcomed in. Told you to essentially babysit Neroli after you were burned a little while ago. One of them, let's call her. Hmm. Daya walks up to you, hands you a cell phone. Call for you. Thank you, darling. Am I staying for company or should I be taking this in private? You're not my type, Jason. <sighs> for now, at least. Go on then. Distinct lack of boobs, and she does walk away. Queen shit. <laughs> Takes all kinds. And smooth as day, <laughs> just hits the phone. Okay. You hear a voice that you've heard only a few times before. The last time you heard it was a warning call you got letting you know that you'd been burned and that certain interested parties needed you to run. Gray. Not many people use often in front of me. Not with their clothes it's on. Halford. It's Halford. Your presence has been requested. I would ask by who, but I think I'll hate I'll the answer. I only answer to one person. Go I for it. Uh, we'll turn back to Neroli and just hand him a handkerchief from somewhere in his pocket and just clean yourself up, bud. I'll be back. Thank you. Just wipes his face. <laughs> I kind of love him, but I kind of hate him, but I kind of love that's, him. That's that's the point of Neroli. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'll step off somewhere more beachbound and find myself somewhere quiet and sit under an umbrella for a while and make a Before call you I really make it don't want to take. Oh, no. Before you make it to the beach. A uh, car pulls up next to you. 
Mm. Window rolls down, tinted. Familiar red hair glinting in the sun. You look bored as hell. And you look exactly the way I remember in my nightmares. We stop doing phone calls now? How's that cool, G? It's not safe to make phone calls and drive. Right. So, is this a house call or business? Can it not be both? No. And you know exactly why I can't? At least I warned you to run. And I wish more and more every day Crusader just killed me. Regardless, you're not here for my woes. So why are you? Would you like a little revenge? Now you're speaking my language. I usually do in the end. Crusader has gotten their fingers in some rather well-connected billionaires. And not the ones that are easily turned. How would you like to steal from them? Maybe blow up a few of their assets on the way out. Get back at the people who burned me. Piss off a few ultra billionaires while I'm at it. And maybe look good doing it. Square deal. What's the catch? Darling, you always look good. And you're always a flatterer. You have time, or? what I want. I think Drayson genuinely like looks down and levels the most serious look he's ever given at any person in the recent memory. Ava, when have I not just given you what you wanted? You make a fair point. Get in. We're going heisting. It is yeah, a Wednesday. Just she in. is. It is a Wednesday, and she is wearing a little pink like. Scarf. Well, good on Wednesday she wears pink. We That's stand it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think what, instead of our peeing out, what is probably a very awkward car ride to the airport, we're going to bit. cut ahead a few days. Merit, you've been given a change of clothes, and by that I mean the clothes you were booked in. Yep. Fiona, you've been flown across the ocean. You know you're in Europe somewhere, based on the travel time. Drayson. You know you're still in Europe because of the travel time and because you watched yourself fly over the Alps to Switzerland. We are in an slightly abandoned, perhaps by purpose, as my camera is still not zooming correctly. An abandoned section of Zurich. And you all are led into a, a differing arrival times, a large warehouse, which of course, when you step in, you realize biometric scanning takes place. Your entire person has been read and cataloged. And all of you walk in one of you led by director Ava Stone to find what can only be described as a Viking uh, standing in front of a smart board, very sternly beckoning, like, but not beckoning, beckoning, barking out orders at his subordinates. And you see, for one of you, a very familiar picture of a house on the side of a volcano. How do all three of you react? Just a little whistle. I think Fiona is just like the tapping of the foot of like, let's get on with it. I have not planned this. I am uncomfortable and I know just how many weapons are on my person now. (laughs) 
I still think we could have done that lower mezzanine as more of a pure cantilever. I don't know why we put that ugly ass support strut under there. That is just... I guess you can't see it when you're on it, but ugh. The aerial view is just... I don't know. At your description of this house, Assistant Director Halford turns around Director, this is your team. I'm... You know my thoughts. That's... all I am going to say. Love you and too, Alfred. I did not miss your face. I really didn't. Normally, I would see it through the scope of my rifle. This is one of those moments I'm sorry I did not take the shot. Mm-mm. <laughs> Now, Director Stone pulls out from a pocket in her suit jacket a pair of glasses, leads you all over to a set of chairs, sits you down in front of the smart board. Well, all of you are very intelligent people. One of you built the house on my board. This is Mac Corp's compound on the Livonia Atoll out in the Pacific. We are going to rob them. Alexander McMillan has gotten his hands on a briefcase full of... Well, you don't need to know what's in it. You just need to retrieve it. Any questions? Introductions, then? Be my guest. Grace and Gray. Crusade. <clears throat> Independent operative at your service. Uh, my name is Fiona Dolan. Pleasure to meet you. Of the Dolan family, then. One and only. I'm familiar. I, uh, I, I'm Merritt March. Uh, he just kind of gestures vaguely to the uh, picture on the wall. But, I mean, that's it. I built a place. More or less. Don't be so modest. Alex, that you have full creative control. <sighs> I, I, Alex said a lot of things. I... <laughs> Listen. So then you'll run point for us. I, I, I mean, I'm on the... Yeah, I mean, I, I still got the, the door codes and that, you know? I, I I think at least if they haven't changed them, I don't think... Well, no, nah, even if they changed them, they don't. They didn't change mine. I didn't tell them I had mine. We're all right. Wonderful. Yeah. Good What's the big, you don't get us killed, then? Uh, I'll get you in if you can get us out. Well, so it seems we have someone that knows the place that we're breaking into. As well as a notable crime family member directly with us, meaning we have brains and we have a face. Hey, does that make me muscle? That makes you muscle, darling. I'm a lot more finesse than muscle. And you of all people should know this. Things could have changed. Been lazing around that villa for so long. Yeah, I suppose I have got a bit dull. Speaking of, and we'll immediately round on Fiona. Give Neroli a call sometime, please. The man's breaking. No. Oh, I tried. Is this the bro code? It's a simple offer. He keeps me from getting killed, so I thought I might him a favor. That favor is not fulfilled. He keeps you from getting killed. Like you said, I've been lazing around. Well, he's been lying. Anyway, any questions? There is going to be an auction in approximately two and a half weeks. 
you have that much time to prepare, we will be taking your suggestions on how to run this operation. Consider yourselves my superiors for the time being until we go live. I want the briefcase. I want what's in it. Alexander Macmillan cannot have it, nor can anyone else attending this auction. Some of them may be familiar to you. I hope no personal attachments will come into play, but one can never be sure. Chip, any questions? I guess I just have one. What's our budget? How many zeros do you need? Behind well, I guess the proper question is, how many would you give me? Up to... nine. I guess I can make some do with that. Trust me, whatever's in this briefcase is far more valuable. Also, considering the proclivities of a few of you, all of you, trying to be polite about this, if you take what's in there, copy it in any way, I will kill you. You promise? Not the fun way, Jason. <laughs> so, what do you need? Now, uh, hold on, just to kind of give you guys some meta knowledge here. You guys are given a full breakdown of this house. Narratively, we will build it as we go, but it is essentially the um, syndrome compound from The Incredibles. <laughs> I have to look it up. I'm still listening yeah. though. So you are rolling out to this island on a pri on various modes of transportation. As I said in the beginning, you will not be arriving together. There is going to be a high society auction of varying goods under the guise of charity for the Mac Corp tax breaks and you all are there to infiltrate the real auction which you know will be held in a separate location on the island accessible perhaps through the house perhaps not they're not sure the layout of the house they only have what they know about. Of course, Merritt can direct them further. Now, is there anything before we probably take a little bit of an early break so we can go right into heisting? Anything you guys want to prepare? With that information, you can roll to see how successful your preparations are. If you, if I deem it necessary, you can tell me, hey, I do this. And if I don't think you need to roll for it, I'm not going to make you roll for it. That's the beauty of this game. So. So. Mary, you had a question thought, before I started talking. Yeah. One, one second, Fox. Oh, I was just going to see of what everyone is, has on them right now. So we know what we're working with. So I, I can, I can start. Um... Fiona is very good at uh, the guns and the talky bit. Um, or I shouldn't say very good at the guns. Like, she's really good at driving and uh, the smooth talking uh, and can notice things out when she needs to. Um, as far as things I've got, I've got a first aid kit. Uh, I have a uh, shotgun and pistols. Um, that's what I've got packing. And then handcuffs just in case. Uh, and I've got the elegant clothes, so I get help to make good impressions. Uh, I've, I've, um... My, uh, my, my skill set is mostly, it, it's, it's not charisma. I'm not the charismatic boy, alright? I, I am... My, my skills are mostly in the, uh... The, the criminal category and the keeping enough of a cool head under pressure to keep doing shit. <laughs> um, I, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of heavy weaponry. I did wear a bulletproof vest because I don't feel like I'm quick enough to get out of the way. Uh, 
I do have a lock picking set. I do have a portable computer so that I have all my door codes with me. Um, I do have a pistol. I have a silenced pistol. And when that doesn't work, I have an assault rifle. <laughs> <laughs> we love to see it. Yes. I feel like very few problems can't be solved with an assault rifle if you try hard enough, honestly. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, low volume, high volume. One of them's got to work. Everything you need. Uh, yeah. Andreessen. Obligatory and disclaimer. Don't do that. <laughs> but what? Look, if I, I, I still live. Uh, what lives rent free in my head is Carrie from the Mythbusters chopping down a tree with a fifty cal. So you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sometimes practical problems rent -free require practical in my solutions. Head. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, on my end, uh, Drayson's uh, pretty spread out skill set. I'm pretty good at shooting. I'm okay at driving. I can do some hand-to-hand -hand if I really need to. Uh, got good stealth, good awareness. Uh, I'm a pretty solid flirt, because that's like part of my whole shtick, obviously. Uh, as far as skills go, I'm real good with the guns, because that's the thing. Uh, I'm real good with the flirting, as mentioned already. I got lots of money, if that happens to matter at all. And I'm good at like shadowing people and sneaking and stealthing around, because I'm a super spy. Uh, Equipment-wise, I've also got elegant clothes. I've also got a portable computer. I've got a grappling hook, because what spy doesn't have a grappling hook? Uh, I have a super special pistol that's like accurate and silent and got all kinds of cool stuff going on and I have a really fucking nice car. Oh, I just said cars. I forgot. I do also have a matte black sedan because I'm that white guy. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Switch. <laughs> Cracked me over here. Her name is Zora and I love her and I that's the one thing I asked him to get out of impound for me. For the purposes of this game, Yes. I will say, unfortunately, Zora is not there, but so her fair. identical twin is probably on the island. Bless her. You guys will, if you get there, have access to the motor pool at the house, essentially. So. Oh, excellent. So I get to steal his. Perfect. You get to steal. We love I didn't say I couldn't. It. Like. <laughs> no, I'm specifically telling you to steal. Oh, no. That's. If you have yeah, no, I'm with it, that. Do it. So, okay. Excellent. Any preparations? You guys are given the layout to the house that uh, Pillar has access to. Merrick can fill in blanks, literally in some cases, I think. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Any specific preparations you want to make before we take a little breaky and get some water and stretch and come back and mess up a billionaire's day? I mean pseudo in character but i guess pseudo out of character for the sake of time i feel like drayson would want us to like spend some time collecting like a solid alibi as a group so we know like what we're saying we're doing which i mean super obviously we already have a major crime uh crime family member around us too actually for keeping it perfectly honest uh and i feel like if we're going to play that we have the excuse of fiona being here for major important billionaire slash criminal meeting uh and from there she either has two bodyguards or like an accountant and a bodyguard or an hired hand and a bodyguard or whatever else is feel appropriate in that case yeah my problem is i got no excuse being there <laughs> so my ideally i get recognized by nobody even more ideally i get seen by nobody uh it's probably gonna happen at some point uh but you know we're gonna do our best to you know i will say I should mm -hmm. you want them all of you are being provided agents of shield level like biometric masks to wear oh i'm going with that please because otherwise like merit you also get gloves <laughs> thank you thank you god knows my fingerprints are on file <laughs> uh, in that case i can't think of and anything else too important true yeah the disguises were the one thing i was gonna bring up just in case and then um, I guess, like, is there a way we can figure out any dirt on, like, people that, like, are going to be there? This like, just in going, case. I will call this... Let me look at your sheet. Because you would have access to things. Pillar has access to things. It's all about asking the right question. Correct? So, roll me a... Focus no check. You're gonna be rolling five dice. You're looking for matching pairs, three of a kind, etc. I will say everybody in chat, if you buy them a hero point, they get to add, add a dice to that pool. Could be useful later. Oh, 
We're gonna call this just a critical. So if you get three, that's good. All right, I have two pairs. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. So that's an extreme success. You get the entire fucking guest list. <laughs> and there's some names on it that you may not want to see. Great. Great. <laughs> Neroli Constantino, in lieu of his cousin Lucia, is there. And both of the Ito siblings, Masaki and Fujiko. So. There's a few other names, some low-level people that you're aware of who have money to throw around, but they're obviously not there for the briefcase. You've got the briefcase list. Perfect. Anyone else? I think I'm set. Okay. Merrick, anything you can think we need? Yeah. I do just want to check my computer and make sure that I've got some... Because I... I'm familiar enough with the alarm system at the ha- at the compound, Lord knows I've been in and out of there enough, um, but mm-hmm. I do have some backdoor access methods that I just want to make sure I've got all the codes for, you know, for shutting down a single door, for shutting down the whole array if I need to, for setting off things if I need them to. You're going to add a dice to your pool because you have your computer, and it okay. is your computer with your specs. Okay. You're going to roll me focus detect. Okay, so I have six dice. You're looking for for matches. Everybody hydrate. What did you say my, how many I needed to pass? I didn't. How many did you get? (laughs) Primony. I, I have a three of a kind and I have a two of a kind. That is beautiful. That is five successes because I was going to call this impossible and then you fucking did it. Yeah! The man! I was, I was yes. hoping you I'm were going to have to go for a re-roll. Rules, but... I said I wouldn't do many of them. <laughs> Alright, not man. my fault you guys are rolling good. Alright, so that was an impossible roll. You were probably going to find that your backdoor access had been severely restricted. They found some of your shit in the last several years while you've been sitting in prison. But then you remember something. Alex always underestimated you from day fucking one. I mean, it's not his fault. I am cute as hell. You are so cute. <laughs> Seconded. So cute. And he was such a dumb sugar daddy. Without the daddy part. I mean, not to you, but it... I'm not saying I'm... that's not the backdoor access we're talking about here. I'm so glad somebody made the joke because I was sitting on it for like 10 minutes. Dude, I set it up, okay? Switch and I have a brain cell and share it. We do. <laughs> so, you realize that while they did scrub your access to most everything the most important thing didn't get scrubbed and that is <laughs> that is that Alex didn't update his passwords in the last few years bless he his just like me picking heart and, and he uses the way, did he, not, he used the same passwords for everything oh. Oh, sweetheart. You really just like me. Oh, honey. And all you have to do is go in using his passwords and give yourself admin access again. Oh. Oh, poor thing. And you can bury it so deep that even if they do figure out it's you, I'll be gone. So good. How does Merritt react to that, by the way? Sitting in this warehouse, surrounded by agents of a extra governmental organization who basically broke him out of prison um this this guy who has been just a little mouse this entire time of like <laughs> i appreciate the people spamming crappy passwords in the chat by the way um <laughs> um like he, he oh in over his head he didn't ask enough questions for getting into this very intimidated by the whole process now is like hunched over in his computer with just the worst posture 
And then just suddenly just like leans back and just starts laughing. <laughs> Fiona, I will say this laughter hits about the same time you get that guest list. Do you have an exclamation of joy or anything else? <laughs> no. Okay. I can't now, think of anything. <laughs> you're good. I was just checking. Now that leaves us with you, Drayson Gray, Agent Extraordinaire. I... What Something are you like doing? Uh, honestly, I think I feel like my homies have got all the important preparations and and and, and propositions prepared. So I think Drayson's just going to like notice uh, Merrick and Fiona both getting all the all the work done and just like slowly nodding, slowly recognizing he has some competent teammates on this time around. But I think in all this, just going to like lock eyes with Ava for a brief moment as like things get focused and just when this is done, you and I are going to talk for a moment. We've got time. We can talk now. I'm not in front of company. Oh, you mean not in front of Halford? Sure. Let's go with that. Shame. Uh, and on that note, unless anybody else has any preparations, we're going to go to break. I believe Hooper is around based on chat and uh, take a break. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Join the Discord if you're not already there. Check out Soul Muppet Publishing and Hero Forge with the links in chat from the beginning of the stream. We'll be back soon. Oh, that was a very hard cut. <laughs> anyway, oh. do I go? Okay. Thank you, Hooper, for running tech for us tonight. There was an Appreciate the Mod team very earlier. There Hooper was. There was more mod available, and Dido's lurking around chat. So, you know, we appreciate that. What's the other one? Him. There's another heart that you can... I can't do the old heart. I Look, I got arthritis. I can't do any of that shit. It's true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is the easiest one. one. This oh. is the easiest. <laughs> yep. You can do that right. Like, oh, Yeah, there we go. So, anyway, oh, bringing the energy back down for me, not for y'all. Y'all can keep your energy levels where they're at. We're going to cut back to that little intro I read off to you at the beginning. I hope you have your e-tickets ready, darlings. This ride doesn't stop until you finish the mission. Now, all of you. In whatever disguises you have so chosen, considering two of you have very recognizable faces to the people on this island. All of you are standing on this platform, milling about with the other hoity-toity types. Waiting on a fucking monorail. Like it's Disney World. To go up a mountain to a house built on the side of an active volcano, the obnoxious amount of wealth on display, the audacity. So, my darlings, Dr. Director Stone is in your ears, but what are you doing? Uh, I think Drayson's just kind of found himself a, a corner to kind of, you know, slump around into. I've probably found some posh old guy to like start chatting up about like, I don't know, yachts, something that I don't care about, honestly, but I just need to get him talking for as long as possible. The only thing I'm looking for from random old guy I talked to is just like any tidbit of like useful intel that might be helpful for later. So like where a particular notable is and or like when things get started, what he thinks about the proceedings, any any other random bit of stuff I can Get a bit of a tooth on if it's possible. Uh, I'll flirt if I have to. I'm not above it. Roll for it. <laughs> roll me smooth and I'm gonna mix things up here a little bit. Smooth and no. So that should be five dice for you. Yes. Five dice indeed. Can I pop my elegant clothes here to give myself help to make a good impression? Of course. Cool. I don't know what the help looks like in this case, but you're going to let me know. <laughs> I've got two matches. I'm going to take my free reroll by making a good impression, if that's okay with everybody here. Okay. Go for it. 
Ooh, I'd like more yeah, than Outguns that. Yeah, Outguns allows you a bunch of free rerolls. So long as you have at least one matching pair, you can reroll every other dice in your pool one time to see if you get more. What do you get? I've got two pairs for you, babe. Two pairs. That is an extreme success. I like extremes. So, this old motherfucker. He looks old as dirt, sounds old as dirt. And he is just talking your ear off about this supposedly secret auction that everybody's talking about. So, what questions you got for him? What would you like? I think to right know? now, I'd like to know immediately, uh, what's his impression on the, on sort of the, on, on the, uh, the things on offer right now? Does he, does he feel like this is, standard affair for people of his type? Is there like a particular notable item that he finds worthwhile? Is there any gossip around about the auction? Chat to me, old timer, what you got for me? Yeah. Oh, do I have gossip for you, young man. All right. Rumor has it, you know, Papa McMillan died last year. And Alex has never quite been up to snuff with uh, running things. That's why his, he had that young, man around keeping everything straight well straight's a strong word there uh, but uh rumor has it that matt corp got their hands on something before a senior died and that the young man that alex was stupid got eyes on it and that's why they put him in prison. And rumor has it, they're gonna be selling it tonight. Or something? Or to get rid of it. Say that one more time, you cra You broke up on the front mm. end. Because it's worth something? Or to get rid of it? Yes. Mm. Well, well, that is fascinating. And I'll blabber with him for a bit longer until he makes some random clip about girls that were too young for him and then I'll walk away. Oh, no, boys. <laughs> oh, well, feel gross. <laughs> and he's, like, eyeing you when he says it. Because he's, oh, like, 90, even... everybody is too young for him, just to be clear. <laughs> even grosser. I'm good, thanks. <clears throat> Lifestyles of the rich and the famous. His That's qualifications are legal and consenting. <laughs> so... Legal? Check. Second one? Mm, no thanks, boss. Gonna pass. I'll He's do. rich. <laughs> I have some type four. Anyway. All right. So, Drayson's ingratiating himself. What are Fiona or Merritt doing? Now, Fiona, I do have to ask you, did you bring your own people with you? Are your are henchmen one and henchmen two with you? I at least have one because I'm not really allowed to go without at least one of them. That makes as perfect sense. Per, as much as I appreciate my older brother, mm -hmm. uh, I can handle myself, but yes. he just makes sure that there's at least one person. So there is one, but more so at least uh, Liam knows that when I need to go and do things, what to do and usually has a car ready to go as soon as I re-emerge, usually with alarms going off. Um, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, but- It's uh, less for your protection and more to facilitate your exit. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, we love to see it. But uh, Fiona definitely will not have a disguise on yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Her face of knowing that she's here is part of why she's here. So she is definitely uh, going to start, uh, grab a, a glass of champagne, start, uh, doing the walk around seeing, um, I think that as she's kind of going through talking with different guests, she's scanning mm -hmm. just to see of who's looking at who, uh, is there any kind of people that look off or like on guard more so than is what is normal for this kind of an event. All right, I'll say you really start making 
this move, once you all board the monorail, you are all in the same car together. The cars do not connect, to make that very clear. There are three cars, they do not connect. Everybody from the docks boards at once, everybody's going to exit at once. So, it's like the airport trams, okay? So, when you get on the car, you are offered champagne, you take the champagne. Please make a an awareness focus roll. So that should be five dice for you. Uh, I've got two pairs. I'm going to re-roll just because. Might as well, might as well. Might as well. And now I've got a full house. Hey, hey, we love to see it. That is what we call an extreme success. So, we're going to have like a little um, Ocean's Eleven here a moment, okay? Where you all are in your various corners. Uh, Drayson's talking to his old man. You're sipping your champagne. Merritt is off screen. We haven't seen Merritt quite yet. But you have just walked into a room full of chew toys for you to play with. And you have played with a couple of them before. You see through the window to the car ahead of you, Nero de Constantino. He hasn't quite spotted you yet, but you know if you don't turn around, he's going to see you. I definitely will wait for him to see me give a sly little wave and turn around. Take my glasses off for this. He fully, like, is, like, mid-drink and just... And you fully, like, you know the volume he speaks at. He slams his glass of champagne down on the tray of some wait staff. Maybe not even wait staff. Maybe somebody who is another guest. And you just hear it. You don't hear it because you're you know, zooming through the jungle up the side of a mountain, but you know, you know the tone of voice, and it is Bellissima! <laughs> and then, as you give that little wave, you feel a tap on your shoulder, and you knew she was there. But. Uh, as I give the wave, as he's, like, slamming, uh, the drink down uh i just turn like turn my back and say ito what a lovely surprise ito's certainly oh sorry i that is my bad uh fujiko, fujiko. what a wonderful surprise i was expecting brand I am so sorry that he could not uh, be at this lovely establishment, but yeah, here I am. I'm not sorry. Neither am I. It's been quite a long time. Who is that? Gesturing. So uh, a obscene. person that... Uh, doesn't quite understand what two-step authentication really is. Ah. I understand. It is good to see you. Why are you here? Why? Dear, I am a philanthropic lady. You're about as philanthropic as, um, Jeff Bezos. So, tell me, did you get the extra invitation? Are you going to be bidding against me? I think a healthy competition is a wonderful way to get to know another person. So, I would love to get to know you, too. More than I already do. But Fiona, you left. Is it my choice to leave? Hmm. 
father was quite upset. Yes, and so I had to leave quite, well, how do you say it, uh, running with heels in hand. So I hopefully I heard that your brother was going to be here too. That won't be quite a problem, will it now? I hope not. Good. And she just like does the slight lift of your chin. I did miss you. I missed you too. Hmm. If you run this time, take me with you. I did my best. But it is rather hard when a knife is shoved in the back. So, hopefully, that's not the pat on the back I get this time. I'll take care of my brother. And she just kind of, you know, filters off into the crowd. Merit. What are you doing, buddy? As we I ask myself that every over fucking to... day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm still not super convinced that if I start chatting people up, they're not going to recognize my voice. I'm sure the disguise is great, but I'm just, I'm keeping to myself, you know, mm -hmm. I might be having a drink, you know, socially, but I'm, I'm frankly, I'm just listening to other people. I'm a gossipy bitch. I just want to listen. <laughs> is this a, funny thing you're listening in particular for, or? Just see what conversation. All right, what um, are we doing here? I think I've... Hmm. The computer might be a little conspicuous. Mm -hmm. Um. But you want to chat to people, maybe? Or just... Just listen. I think... I think I just want to... Listen, because... You know, see what... I'm curious to see... Honestly, I'm a little bit curious to see who I recognize. I know it's been a few years, but you know... I'm sure there's some familiar faces around. <laughs> Roll me nerves survival. Nerves survival? survival? Okay, so that's five. And again, you do have that feat. You can roll with streetwise if you choose. Get yourself six dice instead of five. I am going to roll with streetwise. <laughs> that was some good ASMR of the dice hitting. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> okay. Really I... I only got a pair. I only have two matches. You get a free reroll. I... True. We're taking that. That looks a lot nicer. That is two pairs. We love an extreme success. We so, do. Specifically, chase the cat later, dog. Um... <laughs> Specifically, you were looking for people you recognize. Mm -hmm. And I think you very conspicuously overhear this old man as he thinks he's chatting up Drayson and is not. Um, say that Alex's dad is dead. You didn't hear anything about Papa McMillan kicking the bucket. But, you know, he was old as dirt. Alex was the product of his fourth marriage yeah. you know that kind of deal yep alex is only a few years older than you but you do know he has an uncle and you've seen his picture and you see him at the end of the car almost holding court he's lounging in a seat at the back the window behind him and people are approaching him, saying hello. You recognize him. And you recognize the pin on his lapel. The sigil of a crusader agent. And I think you've spent enough time around Pillar the last couple weeks to know that crusader is 
the antithesis of everything Pillar stands for. If the crime families like the Dolans are the rogues gallery of the world, Pillar, working on behalf of Stone, keeps them in check. Whereas Crusader, well, they are chaos. Like the Crusaders of old, they invade territory that is not theirs, lay claim, and burn everything in their path. So long as they walk out with a paycheck. And there is dear old Uncle Murph sitting back, conspicuously advertising who he works with. Do you tell your teammates? Do you tell Director Stone? Just for the record, with us being wired up, anything we say, Stone can hear. Is that right? Or do we need to, like, do a conspicuous, like, earpiece handling? So, what has been given to you is a press on little disc. Okay. So while you, instead of, like, being conspicuous about, you know, touching your ear, you can just rub your hand in your hair. Okay. And it activates the comms. Director Stone can always talk to you, but you okay. can choose to talk to her. Or to others. Mm-hmm. Uh... I'm 100% letting Stone know she can probably inform the others less conspicuously than I can. I, I don't really want to have FaceTime with them for, you know, connection reasons. Um, but I, I will just kind of... Yeah, go for it. Tell me what you're doing. I got a crusader here. Strutting his stuff. Smooth In public. And stealth. <laughs> Smooth and stealth, please. Ooh, I'm, I'm making you guys roll kind of heavy on this monorail ride, but trust me. Smooth and stealth? Yeah. Okay. Smooth Wait, and all of us are rolling? Every, yeah, all of you to react to, to this information as nice. the comms go live and Director Stone relays this to everyone. What do we got? Uh, so with my free reroll, I've got three pairs. That's good. That's Whoa. critical success. Uh, did a free reroll. Uh, one success. Or Amazing one pair. Success. Okay. Using my using my expedient feat to roll streetwise instead of stealth, I have three of a kind. Critical success. You needed a critical. What if you didn't get it? One moment as I take this squeaky toy away from my dog. <laughs> Fiona, drop. Oh, now that she's gone, <laughs> we'll take full control right now. I'm back. This train is ours. <laughs> Bye, monorail bitches. Um, the anyway. guns out, Fiona. It's time. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. So, train heist. Here's how this. Here's how this works out. Mm -hmm. The monorail docks into station and kind of jerks. And so Fiona, I think you're prepared for the little jerk, but you are prepared for Director Stone to come into your ear and say, Crusader on your six, darling. Murph McMillan, keep an eye out. How you hide it from most people, but there are eyes on you. Who is now, what do you do to make certain people suspicious? Uh, I'm just gonna make it worse for myself. I don't think Neroli has gotten their eyes off of me this entire time. I think there is a, a stutter where she, like, is tries to cover it by putting, like, a one of her red curls behind her ear, but instead mm -hmm. accidentally touches her ear. Um, being good loyal members of the stone. He lights up at seeing you, narrows his eyes, looks at Liam, and then realizes you're probably not just here with Liam. And he immediately land, lands eyes on Fujiko, but 
You all are the young guns, so to speak. You know each other some... Well, you know them intimately, but you know each other. So he looks at Fujiko, and I think you see him... Because Neroli is stupid, but he ain't dumb. And I think he looks at Fujiko, and he's been watching you. He saw you talk to her, and I think he thinks, oh, this is something I've not been brought in on. And you see the resolution cross his face to go talk to you later. So. Failure. But not quite good enough. You all are led into this house. And... Merit, it is exactly as you left it. Can you describe the atrium of this house to us? So, I I fought back and forth about this stupid atrium, okay? Because the... Okay, listen. Getting that wall of just steeply angled glass panels that are that large so that we don't interrupt that beautiful beautiful view down the entire slope i mean you can see all the way to the beach in that thing but out of that out of those windows it is incredible um and that deep angle of beautifully seen together glass just soars like must be 30 feet up in the air um up to you know these vaulted ceilings with these very elegant kind of mid-century ass buttresses and um you know it, it's nice because you get this very atmospheric echo when people are talking but you can still hear the people right beside you so it it feels surprisingly intimate for the the grandiosity of the actual architecture um i'm very pleased with it <laughs> if i if i may suggest the atrium opens up because this is as you know every rich person's house is unnecessarily oh, an open floor plan plan right and talk tonight did you build in some whisper vaults or people absolutely i did corner and whisper across the room to each other yeah absolutely i did come on that's part of the fun <laughs> so you know exactly what corners you can go to mm -hmm. Where if you want to have a private conversation, you don't go there. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you've told your teammates where not to go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drayson. Okay. In, in character, perfectly aware of that. Sounds cool. I'm sure Drayson's heard of that before. It makes, makes perfect sense. Out of character, do rich people have that? Is that a thing rich people, rich people just have in their houses? Like, yeah, people, yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Because the, the thing is, well, okay, it's sure, whatever. The, the thing is, when you have a big room like that, you get all these acoustics that will carry sound very, very far. Think about like an amphitheater or a um, any kind of performance theater. Yeah. That big space with the angling in walls, it bounces sound back down to people you, all the way across the room. Yeah. So and if, if you, you want curve the ceilings just right, uh -huh. you can literally in a crowded room have two people having a normal volume conversation with you with each other. Yes. So those because those Renaissance Italians were bored as fuck and learned how to do that shit. Yep. In home and we have to deal with their okay. we have to deal with their nosy decisions to this day. Yes. <laughs> there are like certain buildings and like public buildings in America that have whisper vaults. So they're so cool. I love them. There's your history lesson for the evening. I will take that hat back off. Put director hat back on. The they were going to for Denny's booth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to slide over to Drayson, clocking the room, as you do. Is there anyone you're looking out for in particular right now? Uh, Neroli has eyes on Fiona, and that's not a risk I want to take to our operation right now. <sighs> do you go find Neroli? Yeah. No, How do you actually, approach him? Opposite. You're wearing a disguise. What do you look yeah, see, like? I'm, I actually, I think Drayson's just gone for like, the kind of disguise is more like an inconspicuous outfit as opposed to like an actual physical like disguise of the face kind of thing. So just like simple black suit. The most shocking thing about me is probably a red tie kind of vibe. The kind of vibe like in a room like this, you just see that kind of person and keep it moving unless you really feel like looking for him. Mm -hmm. 
you know. Uh, but I'm not going into Neroli because I don't want that can of worms in my face. Uh, I'm going to go the opposite direction uh, and, like, because I'm a spy and I'm good at this kind of thing, like, walk next to Fiona in a way where, like, unless you are deliberately looking at me, you cannot tell that I'm trying to talk to her. Mm. But, like, just walk next to her and just, you have know, inbound. The dramatic kind. Oh, I am prepared for what he has to offer. Don't worry. But I'm if not. I do need assistance. Uh, Jason kind of looks around and just, I'm real out of eyes on your attention right now. We move those. All right. It would help to have someone close, I guess. All right, then. Kiss me. And she does. Yeah, just okay. full on, like, tilts her into him, makes out with her for a half second, and just looks at her for a while. People look away when people around them kiss, so usually. Very true. Drayson, you just told me you are not wearing a physical disguise. Nope. And it's- you, the most ungrateful roommate in the world right now. Yeah just made out with that man's girl, or he thinks she's his girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, the tea. <sighs> there is a strangled shout from across the room. Before... And, I'll go and it's not cut off because anybody cuts him off. It's cut off because... He starts to shout your real actual fucking name and clocks Murph McMillan and the pin on his jacket as Murph McMillan is approaching him. And while he wants to murder you, he doesn't want Murph to do it. Good boy. And so there is a Ah! And he instantly fumbles it into seeing Murph approach, fumbling his champagne onto himself. Because everybody expects Neroli to be, like I said, stupid. We'll make it up to him later. He's being incredibly helpful right now. (laughs) Uh, But there are are the eyes of, you are fucking talking to me later, bro. (laughs) I am going to lean into Drayson and say, let me know if you need a little bit of firepower lately. Or, uh, I guess later in the, to the night, uh, Neroli can be a little heated at times. Mm, given the rate of the land, I expect the night will get explosive. I appreciate it. Banshee's always ready for a, a tough fight. Pretty name for a pretty gun for a pretty girl. I like only custom, dear. Only custom. <laughs> Fiona. Distraction made. Where do you go? Um, I am going to try and, um, have they separated the auctions yet? You do see, because you had such a good role earlier, um, you do see that certain people are being approached by staff and being tapped on the shoulder. Murph McMillan is very specifically approaching other people. And you see him walking towards you. Uh, I will uh, straighten up and make sure that my uh, red lipstick is on point and uh, just uh, greet with a warm smile as uh, Murph steps forward. Miss Dolan. Murph, lovely to see you. Don't believe we're acquainted. Oh, I f- of course. Why would I not be? Heard many good things. <laughs> I highly doubt that, Miss Dolan, but you are here in place of your brother, I assume? Yes, unfortunately, Brandon is a little under the weather, has to. Stay home, you know, he's a bit of a homebody lately. I'm just here to help the good people get what they need. Hmm. The good people. 
are gathering downstairs. If you would like an escort, do you need to bring any staff with you? Yes, I do think so. Uh, can I go collect my people then and head on down, or do you need me to be escorted? I know we're not the most close yet. Escorted, of course. Fantastic. I will go and uh, make sure that everyone can get downstairs. As you turn away, he is waving over a very large man in a very well-tailored suit. Fantastic. Like, think the mountain from Game of Thrones in a very well-tailored suit. Being I'm big. not going to make a joke. I'm not going to make a joke. Do it. Do it. Do it. Every mountain can sense. be climbed. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and this man follows your T form. And Liam, do you collect your teammates? Absolutely. All right. Merit, before Fiona finds you, have you disappeared? Have you gone to do anything? Have you accessed anything that you shouldn't be touching? God damn it, chat. I need to not look at it. I know, I was... Whoever started singing Climb Every Mountain is on the exact same wavelength as me and I hate it. <laughs> Ford <of> every stream. <laughs> you're all dorks. Tell me what you're doing, Switchy. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you, Essie. I love you. <laughs> um. Okay, so I think if there's a good opportunity to. Break, oh golly, do I want to break away and see? I I, I almost want to break away and, and just make sure that I can get into the system, but do I want to leave breadcrumbs this early? That's entirely up to you. You have narrative control. I can, I can. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think probably my concern is gonna be more about actually i don't even know is, is surveillance surveillance isn't really an issue necessarily is it what do you mean well my first thought was cameras like but i don't know that cameras are necessarily the worry so much as very big people <laughs> <laughs> with very sharp eyes. <laughs> you have a point. Um, how about this? Yeah, maybe I can do a roll. Maybe I can do a roll to just kind of generally check out what the security situation is like. Because I'm, I'm sure he's updated that in in the last few years or changed something. I would hope. Not that I mean. He Would I really hope no, but like I still have an ounce of respect for the dude, okay? Um. Yeah. Roll me crime and no or streetwise. Both of them are the same for you, actually. So two pair. We love to see it. You discreetly slip behind the bar and you know there's a little touchpad there that technically controls the sound system but that you built a back door into the security system in because Alex had a real bad habit of uh, lingering eyes on the staff and you liked to know who to fire you know you know and you slide over to that tablet and you ping your way through. What are you looking for in the security system? Um. Can I see? And I'm sorry, my brain might have blunked out somewhere in that um, description. Can I see? 
You can access any camera in the house. Especially the ones maybe that Alex doesn't know about. I hate that the first thought was I'm checking out his bedroom. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm, I'm not. That was without just... thinking it, but hold like on. Yep. Yep. Hold on. Might have suggest you do that. I'm a petty bitch, I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Watch you up too, honey. Right. Describe Alex McMillan to the audience. This is the first time we are seeing him. As this camera zooms into an opulent mid-century decorated bedroom with what looks like a lava wall behind the bed. It's always toasty warm in there. I mean, Alex is... The only way I can describe Alex is he's... He's, um, he looks like he's made of money. I mean, I, I've never seen his hair undone. I mean, literally never. I don't know how he does it. It's jet black always manages to look like he just walked out of the salon. He's got this steely gray eyes that I, there's an energy with them. I can't explain it. He always manages to make you think that he knows exactly what he's talking about. He's just got this magnetism to him. It's ev everything he does. His his mannerisms look practiced. It looks like he, you know, studied in a mirror on what's the most professional way to adjust your cufflinks. You know, he's incredibly well put together. And he, I know it's not true. He looks like he's never off the mark. Mm -hmm. You zoom into a very familiar bedroom because you slept there for years. Did you get rid of those fucking satin sheets? They're silk now. Bastard. All right. And you see him talking to... An unexpected figure. Alright. Who do we got? Are these cameras color or black and white? I think they would be color. Okay. Hold that thought. Fiona, you find Drayson. Neroli is hunting the both of you with his own escort, similarly built to the mountain. And you all are being led downstairs. You are given a paddle. Told the minimum bid is $150 million. Cash. And the auction begins. Now, I said I wasn't really good tonight, but that I had my bag ready, correct? So, Foxy or Mary, and I will let you guys both choose here on my brand new dice. I'm ready. <laughs> this, I'm, I'm waiting. This is a Hooper I'm, special. I'm <laughs> this is a Hooper special. <laughs> Mary is panicking. <laughs> uh, Mary. High or low? All right. Uh, I mean, we've been doing pretty good tonight, so we're. I'll say hi. We're, we're gonna go hi. Dice like they have never betrayed me. We'll see. We'll see yet. It's not the forge curse. We'll be fine. You said hi. I did. The three. Ah. Foxy evens or odds? Evens. That's a six. I'm always right. I'm never wrong. I can't be wrong. I'm God. You may not want to be right in this case. Uh oh. I <laughs> am going to tell you what just happened with those rolls. Mary. Fiona is given her paddle. The auction begins. And 
think she's a little aggressive on the front end, trying to outbid people and clocks the wrong kind of attention. Drayson, you notice this attention. And because you are standing right next to her, I'm going to Ocean's Eleven cut back from this getting stuck in the vault with the prize up to our dearly beloved little jealous ex. But I need you to know that Murph McMillan just locked eyes with you and rolling evens means that when I come back to the two of you Drayson's going to get to, get to act first then Murph and then Fiona. Oh okay. boy, I got a plan. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to uh, give you time to plan. We pan up to... You said these are color cameras? Merit? Mm-hmm. We pan up to this bedroom. And there is a woman standing there. Dark red hair. Wearing... A style of suit you've become very familiar with in the last couple of weeks. Ava Stone is talking to Alexander McMillan in his bedroom when you thought she was a few hundred miles away at a pillar base. Do those cameras have audio? not always the best depending on the acoustics, but it's there. Roll for me. Let's see how much you hear. Alright. You are going to roll mm. Let's do a focus detect. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I need five. There was a plus one in chat earlier because there weren't any hero points. I'm going to call that an extra dice if you want it from anybody who may need it, just so you know. Do you want me to leave it for you guys? You sound like you're going to be in a in a spot in a minute. I fear Throwing nothing. It out there. I'm never concerned about anything, honestly. It'll be fine. You, you, you're you alone, so that's I'm even worse. We've got buddies. <laughs> sure. I'm going to tell you, Switchy, that uh, Merit needs an impossible success here. An impossible. Well, that how much is an? How many is an impossible? Five. Remember, you I would have. Three to, roll. I have. I have five dice. I've got to <laughs> I've got a Yahtzee. This motherfucker. All right, got a Yahtzee. This shit. You should take the hero point for the extra die. That he has I'm taking six. the hero point. I am taking yeah, that hero point. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, do it. Reminder okay, chat, you can buy them more dice to put in their pools. You can also buy me a villain point or minus one and I'll use it accordingly. <laughs> I have two threes mm -hmm. and I have three sixes. <gasps> Switchy! The other thing <laughs> is, when you roll three sixes, forget exactly what the rule is, but it's a little extra success. You get bumped up, my guy. That goes from impossible to essentially you rolled the jackpot. Which means you are perfect. You find, you know these cameras, you installed them. You know exactly which way to point them to pick up the whisper vault you installed in the bedroom. <laughs> and you hear this is not what we agreed on Alexander I had to bring in outside interference to make this work give it to me now 
And Alexander, he's not a short man, he's rather tall. And he tries his best to loom over Ava Stone, who is not a short woman, but, you know, shorter than he is. And she is imminently unimpressed. You can see by just the way she doesn't flinch. But you've been loomed over by Alexander. You know the yeah. face he's making. Yeah. You and your organization are outdated and done. This world is ours now. Leg it. The stone will crumble. And she just says, how little faith you have in the longevity of stone. We erode, we crumble, we crack. And she slaps him and grabs his chin as she does and points it to the lava wall at the far end of the room. We are metamorphosed, made anew. The Crusaders only failed. Give it to me, and perhaps I'll let you reunite with that poor, simpering fool I brought with me who still thinks that you didn't frame him. What does Alexander look like when he's caught off guard? First, I just want to say I am not escaping the simpering fool allegations. <laughs> Not I beating that. I wouldn't mind that one. <laughs> <laughs> what does he look like when he's... <laughs> it's... It's... His face doesn't seem to change a whole lot, but you see the jaws in his... Or the muscles in his jaw get tight, and you might see a vein come out on his temple somewhere and there's just a look in his eye is is very directed it's easy to miss if you're not the in its crosshairs but but he looks like he could happily strangle you <laughs> if only he thought he could get away with it which you might could honestly Alexander. part of why it's so freaking scary <laughs> makes that face. And you've seen it once, twice. I don't know if it's ever been directed at you. But you've seen it. Yeah. And you see the moment he realizes he can get away with it. <sighs> We're gonna head back down to uh, our friends in the basement. Foxy. Drayson's got one move. What you uh -huh. do? See, I was wrapped up in all the, all the that that was happening, but uh, no, you said you had a plan. I didn't think I would distract you so easily. I thought I was coming up with a plan. I didn't say I had one fully mm. formed. But we're you gonna have to watch his stories. Order. Let him cook. I'm gonna, exactly. I'm I was going to clip that of, of Foxy saying I have a plan, and then juxtaposing it with I was I was coming up with a plan. I had twelve percent of a plan. You assume that I ever have a plan for like anything ever, and that's a mistake. But <clears throat> white cut back. Yeah, Drayson's gonna white cut back. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Drayson's gonna play this one super, super ca casual, and I think it's just going to like real calm, as if it's nothing's flustered, nothing's crazy. He's gonna like hands in pockets, stand, and like walk to like get in the line of sight of Murph. Like I'm not confronting him physically or violently, but just making him very clear. Like, all right. You've seen me. I see you. Let's let's do this like men, sort of thing, uh, and just kind of walk up and like light nod in his direction and see if he speaks, says anything, does anything. What's the what's 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 the body language looking like right now? I don't like that look on your You're face at all. Leaving Fiona. You're like not like leaving, leaving, but like you're I'm gonna keep walking her in my periphery. away from Fiona. Yeah, a little bit, like a, like like a little like a, a like this bit. much. Fiona can handle herself. Fiona can. I have handle nothing herself. but faith in her. She still got guards with her, right? Or at least a guard. Smooth 
And awareness, please. That's me? Something yeah. to you. Just, okay, just cool. Toxie. I'll come to you. Yeah, cool. I, that smoke I got, that's, that's still thick die. I can make that that's work. Right. I, can, you I, can, need I can shake that. an impossible success. I was really hoping you weren't going to say that, but you know what? And then you I dared know. me at the beginning of the stream to do things that require impossible successes. I, I walked into this. Uh, let's see. That's a pair. That's one, five, two, fives, and three fives. So I've got a four of a kind, and that's it, actually. Only a four of a kind, unfortunately. You can reroll those other two dice. Oh, shit, you're right. Holy hell. You're a genius. There's my other five I needed. Blissful. You have five I fives. Five. I got five fives. That's good. Because you two. start to move away and slip out of the hand that goes to grab the back of your neck, the giant meaty hand of the guard who did not leave you and who is every very obviously listening to something in his ear. Uh, you slip yeah. away from it. Do you keep going? Mm -hmm. Do you acknowledge that you're moving without permission, essentially? Uh, I think I'm gonna... Play this one cool. I won't move any further away after that. I notice the hand, but I will still kind of put both Murph and the guard in my periphery as best as possible and just awful so hands. You big angle guy. yourself, yeah. Do you angle yourself with your back to Fiona or facing her? I'll give my back to her, Fiona. Murph gets to go before you do. He calls out, the auction is over. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between or other. We have infiltrators in our midst. Some of them were invited, but their loyalties cannot be trusted. You stand in the presence of the stone. Kill them. Guards and quite a few of the guests start to bum rush you. Fiona, what you doing, my girl? Uh, Banshee's coming out. Yeah! Uh, I love gun, when we don't waste gun, time. Big gun. <laughs> So, Banshee comes out. Who are you shooting? You, I will tell you, you have options. Because as all these people are bum rushing you, you also see out of the corner of your eye, oh no, Fujiko and Neroli are here. Two other members of the families who answer to the stone. They do not have their personal guards with them. Their guards are busy. You've got a litany of targets. Shoot who you want. Um. Yeah, I am going to. At least I have Liam to like take a hit if I need it. Mm -hmm. um, and he definitely will. I am going to try to aim a basically a buckshot. Uh, in the direction of if the room is set up in like a U mm -hmm. um, of people like looking at the stage uh, she's going to kind of aim it so if she misses one hopefully the it will hit another so it'll look like I'm trying to help the both of them mm -hmm. and they won't know who the one is targeted at but <laughs> I uh, <laughs> see. see I love this plan this my is trope plan. is magnificent bastard uh, it is, it's, it's what I do. Um, <laughs> well, you're going to need to roll a crime and fight for me, please. All Five right. Dice. Five dice. And then, dice. um, I've got Banshee. Is this in close at all mm. or what range? Banshee is what kind of weapon again? Banshee is a, uh, 
shotgun and it has the tags custom and short range. Okay, so this will give you... Yeah, I'll let you have two more dice. Hello, Raiders. Thank you. Thank you. Hooper, we got a Raider to need a shout out in case you're still here. But, uh, yes, roll for me, please. You have, uh, I do believe that'll give you seven dice. Mm -hmm. You do need an impossible success. You guys have been kicking down all of my requirements tonight. So go ahead, kick ass. All right, I've got three sixes and two threes. I'm going to re-roll. Go for that jackpot? Yeah, I'm going to go for that jackpot. Yeah. I got five sixes. Oh, oh, oh this is beyond jackpot. You mow down a bunch of scraggly old people. No, I say old. They're not geriatric, but like, you know scraggly bitches, let's call them that, who are pulling custom gold-plated weapons out of their waistbands and holsters, purses, whatever they may be pulling them from, and you save Neroli and Fujiko. And Neroli, big good boy he is, he's a very good boy. He grabs Fujiko, blows you a kiss, skadoodles out the door. I don't trust that for a second, but uh, I will be appreciative because I know how to deal with Neroli. I don't know these guys. So. Nope. That's your move. That's what you're doing. Yep. We're going to white cut back upstairs. Still crouching behind the bar. Everybody else is blissfully under aware of the firefight now taking that place downstairs. You just watched Alexander decide to kill someone. Merritt, you know the fastest route to that bedroom. There's a secret passage, right? You can get there in 30 seconds. Are you going to go help Director Stone? She busted you out of prison, but she was obviously lying to you about something. What are you doing? Eh. It's not the first time I've been lied to. At least this time it's doing me something. You run? Absolutely, I'm running. I need you to make a... Let's call it a smooth stealth roll and just let me know if you get at least a critical success. That is three. Ooh. Am I going to the secret path since you give us an I'm in your wall? <laughs> Yep. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful I love you moment. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We have three fives. That's all you needed. You slip away from the rest of the party unnoticed. Foxy. Fiona can fucking take care of herself. No doubt. What you doing, bro? <laughs> uh. I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my opposite. I think here is the right call. Uh, so yeah, I think in the middle of uh, like turns to go draw a pistol and help uh, Fiona sees lots of people die and just <laughs> turns back. Uh, we'll probably take cover and then like draw the pistol on him and just Murph, nice to see you again. Can I go my second still? Wait, uh, uh, cleaning up my second still. I am second uh, to no one, you ungrateful little twerp. You should come closer here and prove it then, huh? Shoot him. I need you to decide. Are you shooting him or are you going to try and dodge the three weapons aimed at you? I want to dodge. Uh, dodging specifically with the intent to like roll and stay on the move. Okay, you are going to need a dexterity. Let's call this a nerves dexterity roll. For that nerf dexterity. Uh, okay, <laughs> nerve dexterity we're saying here. That's a four dice for me. Okay. Ooh. 
What do what, 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 what we need in here? Mm-hmm. You need all four dice to match. They don't have to match each other. They just have to match. We need a hero. Well, then I'm gonna. I'm going up with I'm, I'm, a hero. Tell it. That's probably copyrighted. It's very much yeah. copyrighted. You were under the 15 second mark, though, so I didn't cut you off. Thank you. But you know what's <laughs> not copyrighted? Mm. I don't know how I was gonna make a joke about getting two matched pairs, but I got two fours and two threes, so I think God that counts. Damn it! No nice. one failed a roll. I can't fail this. I'm sorry we're on. Look, no, this just feels like when I'm GMing my avatar game, I set an impossible goal and they just go. <laughs> anyway. I exist despite God. Oh, I'm God. God now. Thank you. You can call me that again. Anyway, um, you, in the way that James Bond never seems to get shot in, unless it's narratively appropriate, uh, you dodge three people pulling pistols on you and shooting you not quite point blank but damn close and called swag armor thank you very much swag armor who needs plot armor we got swag armor um you duck under those bullets we're gonna cut to fiona what are you doing girl uh uh i if I can position myself with a with Banshee against Murph's back, uh, mm. to tr I, I'm gonna or, try Murph or uh, Drayson. Murph is a bad guy. Drayson's your friend. Yeah, no, I meant more so to make the people stop trying to shoot at us because their boss uh, has a gun to them. I understand now. I understand. Okay. Okay. I need you to roll me a, let's call this, ooh, nerves, and, you know what, going with nerd dexterity. <laughs> okay. Nerd, nerves and dexterity. I am going to make this a style roll. Ooh, yes please. With savoir faire. Oliver and Company plays in the back of my head. <laughs> you! <laughs> Streets of Seth. Sorry, I was obsessed with Billy Joel as a child, guys. Like, don't, don't worry. I was about just it. obsessed with that movie. <laughs> I was also yeah, obsessed that's with like that movie. the least surprising thing you've ever told me about yourself, in case you were curious. Yes, it's because you're white, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, fair. No, it's fair. It's absolutely fair. Yeah. Brown Eyed Still Girl was like played at every single one of my birthday parties until the age of like six. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I've got two pairs. I'm going to re roll. Okay. See if I can at least get a little bit higher. Mm hmm. Two pair ain't bad. Uh, I got three pairs. <laughs> I got two twos, two threes, and two fives. Hey guys, welcome to Outgunned, where I'm getting out fucking gunned. Um, that's gonna be the the, the gif of tonight. Um, <laughs> uh, oh god. Anyway, uh, yeah, you essentially, as Drayson draws fire, you just take the butt end of Banshee clock the mountain in the face with it and then just stroll right on through the bodies on the floor and point Banshee point blank at the side of Murph's head. What do you say? Now, why don't we all sit down and have time to chat? I think that's a good idea. I'd listen to the lady if I were you. Bit of a hair trigger. You're all going to die here. And we smash cut. To a lava of wall. And a bed. And a man raising his hand. As a door opens behind him in the wall. What you doing, Merit? Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've got the balls to go in there, guns blazing. 
Um, but I am coming out with a silence pistol in my hand. <laughs> we love to see it. Do you shoot Alex? Can you shoot Alex? Do you still love him? I'm guessing I don't have time to think about this. I'm giving you time for narrative purposes, but this is a split second decision. WWMD. What would Mary do? I'm going to put you on a timer. 10, 9, 8. I think this is going to be fucking cathartic. Six. I'm shooting. Roll me a crime and fight roll, please. Uh, what's my fight? Okay. It's not bad. It's not terrible. It's not dice. Not you do word. get you do get an extra dice because of your silenced pistol. I do believe that gives you an extra little boost for being sneaky. Hang on. Two, four, six. Wait. I shit you, you have, not. You have three separate pairs. Yes. <laughs> I I will show them to you. <laughs> they're wait, they're even color coordinated. Look, two. I'm never playing D6 games again. Four. Ever. <laughs> And these ones are mad black, so you can't see them very well, but I promise they're sixes. Oh my god. Also, yeah, you are. You know you are. I don't know I why know you lie like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, where do you shoot him? Um. I mean... <laughs> I'm probably not the greatest shot. Um, I probably... Or is he situated out at the moment I come out? Oh, his back is fully to you. Oh, so he doesn't even... Are you aiming for something vital? Because if you are, you're gonna kill him. Five. Aiming four. for his general middle of the back? It's probably gonna hit something, but... Are you aiming for his spine, Switchy? <laughs> Not deliberately, but I mean, it's there. <laughs> it's the panic. Ah! <laughs> yeah. It really is. It is the fling and look for the broadest target. That is his yeah. back. Mm -hmm. I'm not a gunman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the thing. This pistol is silenced. Mm -hmm. You were pretty damn quiet coming in here and those silent hinges on that door roll over. You have the distinct pleasure, displeasure, worry. You don't, you're processing a lot right now of watching Director Stone notice you two seconds before you pull the trigger. <laughs> Excuse me, it's like choke on air. Um, you see her face go and she starts to pull him out of the line of fire isn't fast enough. Higher low. <clears throat> Hi. It's a clear dice. See. I don't know if it's picking up. Three! The, th the three! That's the same one that got us last time. It is. You shoot him. In the back. It goes through his shoulder and into Ava Stones. Jesus. <clears throat> Roll up. You picked high and then it was low. <laughs> yeah. Both of them crumple to the ground. Alex is no 
secret secret agent of a shadowy organization meant to keep criminals in line. Ava Stone is. She starts stripping him. And you think she's trying to help him not bleed because, you know, you could have hit an artery. Yeah. And then you realize, no, she's, she's looking for something. What do you do? I'm going to stand over Alex with a gun trained on his face. Okay, we're going to cut down. Fiona, you've got a gun. A big shotgun trained to Murph McMillan's head. So, what's it going to be? Because the way I see it, if I do die, you're going down first. Well, do you have anything to add, Drayson? I think Drayson's just kind of like smug nodding and just... Do I you have quickly. weapons trained on the various people still standing? Yeah, I think Drayson will draw his pistol finally. It's a custom looking like a uh, silenced pistol with some gold plating along the edges and it's going to like draw, spin it once and like point it haphazardly at, at someone else around and just... Yeah, if we're going, we're all going. So, your call. Fine. Stand down. I need to get blood on the suit. And he starts walking towards the exit. I assume you are keeping guns drawn, following him. Mm-hmm. There's a briefcase on a plinth. Grabbing, or I'll, I'll be like, give a nod to uh, Drayson. Uh, can you get that for me, dear? This tool still someone the entire time will slowly backstep towards the plinth until I can grab it, assuming nobody moves. Nobody moves. We'll grab and the suit, uh, briefcase. Alarms start going off when the briefcase leaves the plinth. And you've seen Indiana Jones. You know what's next. A boulder? Probably should have seen that one coming, huh? I gave you a mountain. I might as well give you the boulder. <laughs> oh, we're getting boulder. Shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, I think alarms Grayson, are like, blaring, lights flashing. Grab the suitcase. The oh, I've seen the movies. Know where this is going, Fiona? Mm. We should probably get moving. Yeah, I'm gonna push him down and shoot him in the knee and run. Hey, no argument here. I'm not even gonna make you roll for that. Because <laughs> they can choose to help the Murph get out of the here, Murph. or they can chase us. Murph. Help the Murph get out of here. Love this. Well, you two are running. Both of you. Need to roll. Brawn dexterity. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. You keep saying mm-hmm. these things that I'm not good at and asking me to mm-hmm. roll them, and well, I'm not happy about it. You have four dice. You can get four successes. Hey, hey question. Can I also apply? So I, did I use a thing that grants me help uh, in this instance? Yeah, absolutely. There's also a plus one floating around that switchy bot. Cool. Uh, I'm going to use that if that's helpful for anybody here. Uh, I've also got a grappling hook, which could be helpful for climbing and swinging, which might be helpful Hold for escaping places. Hold on to that places. later when you're, you know, having to get down the mountain. Yo, true. Mm-hmm. How often can you use feats? Anytime you want. All right, I'm changing that to a style roll. <laughs> Do it. And even if there is a limit, I tend to follow the Barbosa rules. They're more like guidelines. <laughs> Although this this game is very forgiving on what you can and cannot do. They want you to enact Fast Five or whichever one is leaping the car out of the skyscraper. <laughs> Using a reroll. Okay. Same. Still only Nine cracked hours. one success though, unfortunately. Uh, one is only one, only two pairs, or only a single pair. A single pair, okay. Not great. Not my best roll. You got a single Make pair. More, no, I have two pair. Two pair, and one of them is a pair of sixes. Yep. Very Mary's nice. Mary's all the matters now, to me. Foxy, there is another dice floating around for you if you want it. I'll take it. Why not? See if I can get a three. I'll I'll try you it. I'll try for a three. You 
need you need one. or a six or a two either any, any of these will be will be great i'll okay. take the two that's two pair two pair we'll do it you guys needed an extreme success you got it y'all are good at what you fucking do you slide right on out of there dodging nervous rich people who are concerned by all the gun wielding hooligans running up from the basement except they're all armed and so now they don't know if uh they're in danger if they are the danger etc do you guys get on comms do you try and talk to director stone you don't know what's happening in that bedroom you don't know what's happening to merit you know you set the alarms off. You've got to get out, but are you leaving a man behind? Uh, Y'all have not seen me very... for probably at least an hour. Yeah. Which is concerning. Uh, starting yeah. off with the typical, just like as we're running by, people still armed, just niche entertainment, folks. Don't mind. Keep your seats. Have a good night. And just going to keep running by. <laughs> and then afterwards, I'll just like steadily. Yeah, so Mary's situation. Where are you? What's happening? And are we leaving right now without, with or without you? We're going to cut over to Merritt. Ava Stone has just pulled a key out of Alex's pocket. She's not spoken to you. She's not even really acknowledging that you shot her with a through and through. Yeah. Very professional. There's definitely a bullet lodged in her left shoulder. Yeah. Uh Oopsies. Shop new boss at the company retreat. I mean, you know, <laughs> thanks. Shit happens. Yeah, but what are you doing? You recognize that key. Which key is it? Ooh, it's the one that opens the super secret vault. You're not supposed to know about, but you built the house and uh, Papa McMillan could only hide so much from you. Mm-hmm. Alex is groaning on the ground. Does he seem like he's going to get up anytime soon? He didn't hit the artery, but he's going to need surgery. Um. I think I'm going to stick to stone, but I am going to keep my eye and my gun on Alex. Ava Stone stands up, brandishes the key in your face. Where does this go? It wasn't all the plans. You know this house. Where does it go? Where does it go, Merritt? Or you go back to prison. I can't explain it, but I can show you. Follow me. Where does it go? So, the... The super secret vault Uh is you actually have to go back through the passage that I just came out of. Mm -hmm. It's it's not accessible through any door that links directly to the rest of the to the public areas of the compound. Um, But if you follow that secret passage down a hidden door in the secret passage mm-hmm. to the secret secret passage. Mm-hmm. Eventually you secret get to... Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Through the mountainside, <laughs> conveniently enough. Uh, but you will come to a dead end where it's dark as hell in there. It's easy to miss that there is a panel that when you swing it open... Um, has it is a code and a key you need both to unlock it you got both yep we sure do 
I think, uh, I think as an employee in this situation, I'm obliged to help open it. Uh -huh. So if she's got the key, I've got the code. Mm-hmm. So, you watch this door swing open. Still holding your gun? Still holding my gun. Good to know. Do you go in? Do you let Director Stone go in first? Stone can go in first. She grabs you by the arm. Drags you in. Oh. Alright. I'm looking for a thumb drive. It has everything the Crusader's up to. Where would he put it? Smash cut. You guys are making it to the monorail, but the monorail is real slow and they can stop it. Do you try to look for other manner of escape? He looks over at Fiona. You down for a ride? I think that would be great. Uh, we'll extend arm and dramatic date like fashion, madam. Uh, I will take it. I'm going to be scanning, however, as we're going, uh, not too openly, but a little bit, to see where Neroli and uh, Fujiko is. Focus awareness mm. for me, please. Because I don't trust that person. It's a wise at all. decision not to trust him. Yeah. I'm going to use a reroll. I got two sixes. We'll see if we can get something else. Mm -mm. Nope, we can't. <clears throat> okay, basic success. You don't see Neroli, but you do see the uh, footprints of a very familiar pair of patent leather Italian loafers uh, and smaller set of footprints leading off the patio towards what looks like a garage. Smash cut back up to Marin. Where would he put a thumb drive? And is it protected? So in this um, mm -hmm. vault, there are some drawers mm -hmm. that have to be opened with a thumb scan. Mm-hmm. Did you put your bear biometrics back in the system? Absolutely, I did. Absolutely, you did. Yes. See. So, <laughs> so I can... There's a couple it might be in, but it, it's not really a problem to kind of go through and open them to... Uh... How does Merit react opening the final one that you thought it might be in and seeing a file with your name on it? He's, he, he freezes. Mm. Ava smacks you in the back of the head, grabs both of them, and drags you out. Time to go. Time to process later, darling. Time to go. Kind of shakes himself out of the fog and just kind of stumbles after her. You know, because you built this entire complex, this is your baby. You know that unless you get out in the next two minutes, the house is in lockdown. I need you to roll nerves and dexterity. You can obviously use your feet to roll streetwise if you need to. Mm -hmm. But you need, you know, I'm not going to make you roll for this part. You know you need to make it to the motor pool and that the cars in the motor pool can get you down to the beach, to the dock, where Pillars got transportation waiting. Roll. Roll good. Okay. 
And I am going to use my feet to roll. Streetwise? A streetwise. Thank God. Okay. It's not great, but it is a three. It is a match of three. Critical success? Yeah. You do get a free reroll. <laughs> that sounds like I'm going to need it. Mm-hmm. You are going to need it. This is impossible. That is four. Not terrible. You don't quite get there, but you ain't dead yet. You guys break out, but you are not alone. Fiona and Drayson, you make it to the garage, and Neroli is shoving Fujiko into the driver's seat of a Land Rover. He has somehow acquired a gun almost as big as his ego. And he swings it on you as you come barreling into the garage. You guys still haven't seen Merritt. What you doing? Really, Neroli, best time for this kind of thing right now, you sure? Get in the fucking car! We're waiting on one. What? Uh, that's a wild... And Fujiko is... Out... We need to go, darling. Right then. Merit, anywhere, anything? Please don't be dead. You're free to answer. You know you're being chased. You're a hundred yards out? If if we can get to the garage, mm -hmm. we can get out, yes? Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is make it to the garage and we will end credits the chase scene. But you gotta get there. Go, go, fucking go. We will figure it out. We will reconvene, fucking go. Are you certain about that? My ass is lit up. Get the fuck out. Are you really sure about that? I'm pretty sure that British bitch is up to something. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Get the fuck out. You heard the soldier. Let's trust him. All right, Neroli. Where are we going? He taps the hood of the car as you guys hop in. I need one of you, any of you, to tell me high or low. I was terrible at this last time, so I don't think it should be me. Foxy, just saying. Uh, uh, the one time I did it. You're right. I, okay, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll pick it. Let's go high yeah. right now. Let's, let's do high? it. You guys, I'll, never, always you, believe. Me, you guys, you guys are kind of even odds on there. I'm going to always believe. I always believe in the highs. <laughs> Foxy, what did you say earlier? You can't be wrong. <laughs> when the clutch is so great, you can't yell. You got to have to do this for a time. Yeah, yeah. T-Pose to establish dominance. T-Pose, the clutch is too strong. You can't even say anything. Just going to stand up and hit it's the true. Uh, one time. Here's the good news. There's another member of the families here on the island that you guys didn't get to talk to. But you know he's here. One of you does at least. As you all speed towards the beach, Merritt, closing credits start rolling. The actor playing you, his name flashes across the stream, uh, across the screen as you have a panicked look in your eyes as soldiers come pouring out of the woods. Ava Stone has got her left arm up to her chest with a knife in it and it has a pistol drawn, ready to defend herself, and sliding into frame on his knees is Ito Masaki, sword drawn, and he takes out the Achilles tendons of all three guys pointing guns at you, gestures to a motorcycle and a sidecar as he puts his samurai sword back in its sheath, holds out a hand to you. I believe you'll need a ride. 
Are you yeah. a sidecar? Are you sitting in the sidecar or are you riding behind him? I'm going to let the person with the injured shoulder who probably can't hold on sit in the sidecar. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hold on. Mm -hmm. He wraps your arms around him tight and goes, a little tighter, dear, and speeds off. And we watch the end credits, my darling audience. I hope you have been entertained. Are you not entertained? As these trained, capable spies, assassins, criminals race off into the sunset, barely make it onto a boat, Masa Masaki launching the s motorcycle and sidecar off the dock into an improbably placed set of barrels and boxes and crates onto the deck of the ship, waiting to take you all away safely with your successfully purloined goods. Any final words? before we end tonight's stream. It's a way to make an entrance merit. You all in one piece. I told you I'd figure it out. But I never doubted you. Well done. Uh, Fiona will go up to Merit and just kind of dust off his shoulders. and uh, But all the while, she's got her eyes trained on Masaki because uh, the yeah, she's she's just waiting for a blade to end up pretty close to her. Uh, so she's almost positioning herself and Barrett, like, you're gonna have to stab him to get to me. Uh, <laughs> Barrett will just, like, return that little, like, just this real, like, quick pat on the back of your shoulder. Sean says hi, by the way. I don't know if I said that. I know it's been, like, three weeks, but, you know. Yeah. Regardless. I'm glad that uh, you are outside of here now. There's a lot that we could help you with. Someone <laughs> bloody help me out of this sidecar that... Uh, oh, God. Trace yeah, swing over. Look, I wore a bulletproof vest. Stone. I don't know why you didn't have a bulletproof vest. I, I don't know what In to tell you. In this dress? Where would I, I put it? I don't know. You got freaking face changing masks. I don't know what kind of Shit, you can I fit under there. I don't know if I went to hire you after stress. all. <laughs> That's, I'm, just, I'm just saying, pillar pillar R and D department, bulletproof dresses. Get, um, any case, uh, <laughs> yeah, Listen, Jason's gonna walk Ava. over and and yeah. and help Ava yeah. out and just. I would say I'm surprised to see you here, but I don't like lying to you. I'm very good at lying to you, though. Hmm. So. Was this just trying to get Crusader off of my back or personal interests? Were you planning on betraying us? Come on, spill. I just dismantled their entire operation from the inside while you guys got to have a little fun. Blow off some steam. You are incredibly sexy when you're brutal. Thank you. I am sorry. Fun? That was fun? Getting shot at is fun? The fuck was that? Oh, I mean, come I on, Fiona. You can't tell me you haven't had fun pulling Benchy out when was the last time you got to do that? Last week. It's a daily occurrence. I'd like to be warned first of like, hey, we're gonna be shot at. That would be pretty fucking nice to know. I'm so sorry. I couldn't have you potentially leveraging that information and telling the others. If she just starts just cussing in Gaelic, <laughs> just just under her breath. Very <laughs> like it, the English and Irish don't mix moment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, closing credits. The scene ends happy, cursing, blood, shooting, being chased by several speed boats as you race away into the sunset and we close our stream well, let's do some out trip we'll go in reverse order starting with you mary hi everybody i'm mary my pronouns are she her i have been playing fiona Bo fiona Do dolan i'm so tired uh <laughs> 
her pronouns are she, her. You can find me online at uh, Nerd on Wheels 15 on the Hell site and everywhere else at The Nerd on Wheels. Coming up for me every other Wednesday, you can find me on Enchanting Sorcery Productions, where we are playing Fandelver and Below, Halia's Harriers. I am playing a rogue cleric that just found out who their god is and is not okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a wild ride with a memory block. It's awesome. It's really cool. Uh, then on Sunday, you can catch me over on Girls Run These Worlds for All Templars Are Bastards, a Dragon Age RPG actual play where a bunch of mages and a rogue are trying to do a lyrium heist. We've only got a few episodes left, and it is the calm before the storm this week. Uh, and every other Monday, you can catch me back here for Lancer Hell's Gate, a Lancer RPG actual play where I play the murder marshmallow, my little cinnamon roll with a lot of, of uh, rocket launchers. Uh, it's a wild time. We just got over with a fight in Space Disney and were attacked by audio animatronics and it was the best time ever. Uh, go check that stuff out. Amazing. It's like, uh, what's the planet the, the monsters are from in Space Jam? It's like the evil yes. theme park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsters. Anyway, I'm a 90s kid. Moving on to Switchy. Uh, I am a uh, Switchel Sweets. I go by she or they or any uh, that strike your fancy at the moment. Um, I am... <laughs> I'm a I'm on Blue Sky. I'm on Lost Caravan. I, I am nowhere else at this exact moment. Um, I, I'm actually starting to come back from a rather long hiatus uh, from Lost Caravan, and I'm I'm absolutely thrilled to be back. Uh, and I hope I I hope I show up here again for you in the very near future. Yeah, I'm excited. You agreed to sit at my table. I'm so happy. <laughs> Alrighty, Voxy. Hey folks, that's me. I'm Young Foxy, aka Big Foxy, also known as your favorite Fox Philly's finest. I'm all over the internet at Young Foxy. It's Y U N G F O double X double I. Sometimes there's no underscore in the middle. So if you can't find one, look for the other. Today I got to play Drayson Gray using he, they pronouns like myself, and it was an awesome time doing so. If you want to find me on the internet for some reason, you're probably going to find me over on Neon Lights Roleplay, where I creative direct and make sure vibes remain set in all the places that they should be. I run all kinds of nonsense stuff over there in particular, most likely assuming I have the energy for it. Tomorrow you'll see me running by a shadow of peace, my wrath and glory epic featuring a bunch of people in some grand Warhammer mystery adventures. Last episode, I put one player's boyfriend inside of a rock and then made her use that rock to save her friend from becoming a demon. So they're kind of mad at me right now uh so uh, here's hoping i let them get some get some things back for that when i'm not doing that uh i'll use this time to announce that in the time slot that would have been for today if i was not here so next month exactly a month from here you will see the return to your screens of tears of divinity the renamed saga of that was once frozen rain now called tears of divinity fading chronicle run by the incredible and comparable turkic scented featuring myself and some other awesome people where i get to be ragey the squad's resident wives guy uh, it's awesome. Love it. It's a great time. And I look forward to seeing you all there, hopefully. Thanks for having me. You've all been incredible, and I've been Foxy. Bye. Uh. All right. I guess that leaves me. I got to tell you where to find me. Hi, guys. I have been your director this evening. My name is Cassidy, better known as Cass or Yoda or Yoda Almighty. I can be seen on your screens once again uh, this week, uh, twice. On Thursday, I'll be over on Live from the Apocalypse in JD's psychological horror game, uh, Redacted. I may be dead. Normally, I'm alive and haunted by ghosts, but now I'm dead, dead. Dead, dead. Like, for real this time. Maybe. Maybe. Death is only the beginning on this island. Um, <laughs> and then, keeping up the spooky vibes, we're going over to our long-running Call of Cthulhu campaign. We're over a year now where Shock is uh, letting me have my um, snake god boyfriend, and I'm now stepmother to his child. It's a stable and loving relationship. I don't know why everybody looks at me funny when I bring it up. And then I will be back again... For uh, over here on Lost Caravan, I believe on, I think the 7th, maybe the 21st, uh, for Old Gods of Appalachia. I don't know if you guys caught the first part of that. We are coming back. I'm reskinning my character to be a little less useless. Still a dick, though. Um, and then uh, over on Singularity, once again, for Fragments of Tomorrow's Apocalypse, which is uh, Panopticon Gaming, my bu dear buddy Alan's uh City of Mist campaign where I play a rift of the god Pan. 
Nothing bad is happening. I made one bad choice and everything it's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, that's where I will be. We are going to be raiding Dork Tales here soon. Do we have any end credits, my children? My delightful players. Not any PG ones, tell you that much. Yes. <laughs> that's true. Wait, so, okay, so who... Okay, so I get that one with Foxy. I know where that happens. That's that's Eva Stone. Fiona? More than one person involved there? Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. And then Merritt, what you doing? Or who? Look, I already ditched you guys at the party to sneak off into my ex's room and get a back shot in, so... <laughs> I've had okay. enough. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a nice young man handing you a bottle of water. And we'll just close right there. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Bye.